In the summer of 2011, I was a 14 year old scout at Peaceful Valley Scout Ranch in Ilbert, Colorado, only a few miles from my house. If any of you have been there, the week of camp begins on Sunday and ends on Saturday. But my troop is of the LDS Mormon faith, yep. Just go ahead and ask regular questions how many wives I'm going to have, how many kids, and etc. etc. And where we always went up on a Monday instead of a Sunday. And the first day was completely normal, but it was the first night that was a bit off. 10 p.m. was always lights out every night, but that never stopped any of us. We would normally just stay up until 1 o'clock in the morning playing night games. That went fine until 11.30 when we started playing a small game called Invasion. And I was hiding in the bush looking for my chance to run. Out of nowhere, I was compelled to look at another bush about five feet away from me, and so I would look like a bear cub or something. After like a five minute stare down with this thing, it just kind of ran off, but not as much running as shuffling like a, an ogre. That look that thing gave me gave chills. I decided to go to bed and didn't even stay up for an evening prayer scripture reading. At around 2.40 in the morning, I woke up to the feeling of something breathing on me. I immediately grabbed my flashlight and pointed it at that thing's face. I looked up. It looked like the bear cub I saw, but this thing wasn't, wasn't of this earth. It was hairless. It was pale grey skin. Sunken eyes had no pupils. About 10 seconds of it, it I guess it put and I guess its mouth next to my ear and let out this kind of shriek whisper. If you scream, I will kill you right here, right now. It put, it put a scratch about three inches long down my chest. It said something about me having to help it destroy the world and I just thought I blacked out. It said, I am the 